Wildcats of Fort Valley State. Last year, Fort Valley was 2-5 in conference play and 2-8 overall. They were the fourth best scoring team in the SIAC, averaging about 24 points a ball game and gave up about 28 points a game, which was 10th best in the SIAC. They opened their season on September 1st versus Cranley Division II power at Delta State. Welcome, please. Say good, Coach. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Like I said. Thank you. Thank well, Coach, now I gave you that. I love you. There's some good news and some bad news. Good news was they offensively put some points up, but just like I said to Coach White, the, the defense uncharacteristically gave up a lot of points. So I'm sure that you guys have been just addressing the defense in the camp and fall camp and coming to be and also in the preseason. You know, after going, uh, I used to think winning was easy. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was always easy, but it's very tough, especially in this conference. Uh, we went two and eight, and I know from that experience, uh, I know that I, I really hate losing more than I do winning. Uh, we had to listen to all that conference all year. So we rebounded and we doing really well. Uh, we have six people returning back on defense, and we have a, a guy here with me today that started four, this will be his fourth year as a starter. He's a backbone on our defense. He's a great player. He should, I think, at least be all the conference. Uh, DeJuan, DeJuan Williams, can you stand? DeJuan played uh, free safety for us, a great player. Uh, so with him coming back and uh, we have some recruits coming in, so we should be pretty solid on defense. We won't change anything because uh, we have been winning in the past. Uh, we just had some hiccups and we lost some tough games, lost some good teams. I know that there's got to be a new momentum swing having to come out of the season, loses some close games, and then you lose the last four. But you were able to put some points on the board offensively, and one of those guys that helped you do that was Chris Slaughter. Had a fantastic year. Talk a little bit about Chris and some of the other guys on offense. Chris is a great player. Uh, he's um, been in the weight room and worked really hard, and he has been a very good year this year. Uh, we hope to bring in some more receivers because he's a double cover a lot him uh, a chance to make some plays. Um, Clark uh, stopped us on the goal line two times actually. And that's terrible. I said, well we need uh, some people up front bigger. So I went to Texas and got a guy by the name of Texas Highway. Uh, Marquise, you stand up? That's Marquise Franklin. Uh, Texas Highway. <laughs> yes. We hope to get on the goal line and make some some touchdowns down there and get one or two yards. You can't get one or two yards if you're not a very good team. Well, we talked about the good and bad, and also good defensively was the fact that you were number two in the conference in sacks. You had 32 sacks. So there's there's going to be some defensive pressure. You said you're not making a lot of adjustments. Any other guys that we can look for on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, yes. Uh, is, uh, we have uh, Jason White, I mean, Tracy White, and we have uh, Tobias Glenn, who I think uh, very two great players, and then young guys are just uh, sophomores and the uh, juniors next year. They've been a starter there since they were freshmen, so they're going to add to that. We're going to pressure defense. We have a lot of speed, and we're going to come to play. In addition to playing Delta State non conference, you've got Valdosta State and Concordia. Maybe not quite the name last year for Florida, and I think it was a good one. So you've kind of altered the non conference schedule to get very difficult non conference. Oh, uh, yes, we uh, come out to the game with uh, Delta State, and then we have that loss of state. That's not fun at all. Uh, and I don't, I, I'm not looking forward to playing Clark at home the third day, especially after this him talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be tough, tough schedule. Did it concern you last year the fact that you had opportunities to score and maybe didn't take advantage of them? I think you were like a minus 15 in the turnover moment. You know, uh, we uh, lost our two story quarterbacks, and we was playing with uh, freshman quarterbacks. Uh, we didn't have any college experience. And plus, that we wasn't too uh, good up front, so that was a problem. So we uh, enhanced our offensive line, we bigger, stronger. And now we have our uh, starting quarterback back. This is the first spring that I've been there that we had our starting quarterback. 
participate in the spring. So we very excited about having him. Uh, hands on with him that he should have a great future. Talk a little bit about the special teams. Special teams, uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, we have Jason Rosen on him, who's going to do a lot of fun and our kicking. We're going to do both. Uh, we, we lost Marquette team. Uh, he's with the Raiders now, right? Yes, he's with the Raiders now. Yes, he's with the Raiders. And uh, Jason Rosenbaum is just as good. And so we expect a lot of, uh, out of our kicking now. Is there a, a watchword, is there, is there a motto this season the Fort Valley Wildcats are going to hang your hat on this beginning of this conversation? Oh, yes, that our motto is this, share, share your courage. Y'all talking to each other. It's been a very, very difficult year last year, and this year we want to stay motivated and get started. Coach Pippen, always a pleasure to see you. Before we talk to you again as the season goes on.